Now that Christmas is coming and gone, our temperatures are in a steady decline with a chance for snow moving in this week. So we're shifting gears to shop work, repair work, and other things around our farmstead. We had a great fall for excavation work and got a lot of projects done that needed to be done for a long time. And things are looking really good going into the new year. Uh, we would like to actually have some cold temperatures now to freeze out some of the ground that was worked on. Uh, which reduces some of the compaction and makes your seed bed a little more fluffy for springtime. But the white stuff can stay away. We have quite a few equipment repairs as well as things to get set up for spring. So all that will make for good videos coming up as well as getting the new trucks on the road. They are currently DOT legal and ready to go. Well, it snowed. So I think our fall working season's over. But we are going to use this S-square to pick up this 843 loader because we sold it. Now that I'm caught up on other projects, I'm going to get this 4620 back in the shop. To continue working on a few things on it, what we're going to do here today is install these loader mounts so I can put the loader on. And I've caught some hell on here about wanting to put a loader on this tractor. But anybody that watches the channel knows how we keep equipment. Uh, this tractor will actually be, continue to be improved upon. And the loader is only going to be for scooping snow, uh, lifting a few bales just minimal work we do need a second loader at all times and yes we do have a second loader the 4020 but i do not enjoy sitting out in an open station tractor when the snow is blowing in your face and it's four degrees out cold start for this 4620 for you it's about 40 outside so. <laughs> Cleaned up, got the original boots around the pedals, it's all sealed up. Foam, everything in here is packed with foam. Uh, there has been additional lights on this tractor. I got a switch for that. Uh, interior is looking pretty good. Up here, we had to tear all this out. There's lines that go down through the cab corners here. Uh, those all needed to be redone anyway um, to get their heater. So, everything's back with all new filters and they still had all the foam and everything from up here from John Deere. New muffler and stuff. Uh, out from the hood, redid the area take. Uh, things look pretty good. Pretty happy. Pretty quiet here too. I will be putting a 726 loader on this tractor which is a modern day version of a 725 which replaced the 168. Anyway, this tractor pretty well completed. I intend to put bigger front tires. These are 14 L's. And the 18.438 rears, I plan to go to 20.8 by 38 rears and 16.5 L16 one fronts, as well as a personal posture seat in a cab and radio kit, but that will be coming this winter. Additionally, I still need to do a few things to it, like some lights and just some more polishing and cleanup. But overall, it's looking pretty good. It does have all the sheet metal on it, including that panel there, which you can no longer get. And I had to modify a open station panel, which was all you could get uh, to make it work. Came out very well. A little body shop work and effort paid off. But every single panel is on it. 100% complete tractor. And the 726 loader will come on and off easy. So all you'll have is a couple of pads along the edge of the frame. And I think it's going to work out real well for us. So I'm going to work on that. And here's some clips of what else has been going on. NTC 250. All cut out of the frame. We're saving this. For the military truck just in case you never know and the fuel tank saving that as well everything else going to scrap as well as this old tubes getting stuff cleaned up heavy and if you notice that truck that was being cut up was yellow well that's where the box came from that was an 800 series truck but it did share the same engine as this 900 series so we're saving the engine out of it the rest of it went to scrap obviously the box went to this truck and I know a lot of you guys like this truck, and I like it too. It's worked out very well for us. When we get it stacked up with dirt, fully loaded out, it's about 85,000 pounds. Another project for winter. There's our new water tank, our hose reel. That's right there isn't obviously going to carry it, so we're going to have to get a 3250 gallon, bought it used, got a really good deal. Same with that hose reel. Getting oil. 
this tractor would have initially been mounted as like a 158 loader. A 158 loader uh, on this big of a tractor, they come out pretty short. The towers come out right about where the fan's at right here. So you end up with a mast like right in here. And when you go to work on anything, because this is like a 24 inch wide tractor and a 29 inch wide between the mast loader, you just don't have any room. I mean, you got a tower right here and it's hard to take off. So these later series uh, loaders were wider. They're 35, 36 inches wide inside. I think it's 35 and 7 to 8 to be exact. What I'm doing, I'm actually going to mount the loader further back. And that's because this loader was technically never made for this tractor. Because uh, of the cast front end, the crossbar doesn't fit. Uh, this was not one of the selected tractors that this loader was for. But the mounting holes did line up. So I went ahead and I moved it back, which brings our mast back closer to the cab, putting more of the weight towards the rear end and close coupling. The loader, there's still plenty of room. I hate loaders are way too far out there. You go to cut grade and your front wheels, the bucket's doing this. The closer you get to your wheels, the better, smoother it is to cut. Uh, admittingly though, you do lose a little reach for like loading hay, but that's not an issue because it's still gonna be a ways out there on this one. But because this loader wasn't for this tractor, uh, this would have been for like a, a 4430 which would be actually a little shorter without the bigger front end uh, this front bracket will have to be changed all right we're just checking the fit looks like it's going to work out pretty well uh these 726s they move the tube down there from up here so it allows you to bring them back further we still got another four or five inches to go so the closer to the rear of the tractor the better looking good well, the mounts are on, so now we're ready to install the loader. Joystick is active. I don't know until I get the loader on as if the cables will need adjusted or not. We'll do that here soon. Next up, we'll get the loader mounted. And there it is. Looks pretty good. Slowly but sadly, things around the farm are coming together. And I'll have more on this 4620 and showing you a completed look coming up.